Welcome to Wildlife at Tampa's Lowry Park Zoo. I'm Dr. Larry Kilmar, Vice President and Director of Collections. We're going to show you two new arrivals in our collection today, as well as some of our births. And one of our births is right in front of us right now. It's a Malayan tapir, an endangered species from Asia. It's the only tapir that ranges in Asia. And I have Tracy, the primary keeper for tapirs, with me today. Uh, Tracy, congratulations on your, your baby. And uh, this is our New Year's baby. This was born on New Year's Day. So um, tell us a little bit about uh, our newborn. Well, our newborn is a female. Um, she was around 15 pounds when she was born. She's doing very, very well nursing frequently. Um, she's already filling out a good bit from uh, Sunday when we first saw her. Um, she's active, moving around really well. Mom's being a great mom. Um, just taking good care of her, nice and calm, letting us handle her. So it's been a good experience since Sunday. Right. Just imagine now, this animal's 15 pounds today, or at birth, actually, and she'll get up to 700 or more pounds when fully, fully grown. And this is the largest of the taper family. Uh, these animals are, are actually in a family all by themselves. They're closely related between horses and rhinos, uh, but there's no other uh, living relatives uh, to the taper family. Now, now, this animal, you'll notice the, the, uh, the coat on the baby, and that's actually a protective uh, characteristic. So as this animal is in the forested areas, that dapple sunlight uh, makes that baby disappear, and obviously it's protection against predators. But I don't think I'd want to be, uh, I'd want to be trying to get a taper baby away from a mother taper. They're pretty tough. Uh, I know that you did a, a veterinary check. We do this a uh, couple days after birth to make sure everything is going well, and I understand mother got a little bit upset during that process. Yes, um, we at first were just touching the baby, and she was fine. We had food for her. She was separate in another another den and she was perfectly fine eating her food but as soon as we picked that baby up squealing mom was squealing trying to climb through the mesh <laughs> it was pretty violent uh, yeah. <laughs> behavior yeah. but um, and she calms right down after the yeah. baby stops so it's natural well, as Tracy said, she's an excellent mother. We've had uh, several tapers born at the zoo, and, and we'll watch this animal grow now over the next months. And at approximately six months of age, that coat coloration begins to change. And that's just uh, correlated with the animal's ability to be self-sufficient at that time. So then it becomes a bit more obvious, but yet it can get away from, from any predators in the wild. So again, it'll be a few weeks before this baby's out on exhibit for the general public, and that's just part of our protocols. We're very careful with uh, with tapers in this situation. What does mother's diet uh, consist of on a daily basis? On a daily basis, uh, she gets a special grain formulated for these types of animals, um, about seven cups twice a day, and she gets multiple heads of romaine throughout the day now, and she gets some apples and some carrots, and she enjoys that a lot. So uh, other than that, we don't offer anything special unless it's enrichment um, melon sometimes. but. Now the, the uh, father of this calf is on exhibit, so you'll always see a taper when you, when you come out to the zoo. So the next time you're at Lowry Park, stop by the taper exhibit and you might see our, our new arrival, our New Year's Day baby as we call it.